Small cats and dogs and children, huh? Mm -hmm. What's your time with that dog? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, and he's so lucky to have this because this is not a medical hand. Mm -hmm. Because he's been getting handled by loving hands that are medical hands, right? But we're more just saying, notice this. Pay attention to that. And then notice how this can feel better. I'm so glad. I mean, the vet found that it was leaking underneath. That's great. I mean, that's great that the vet found that and mm -hmm. was able to fix that because in that one photo you showed me, his leg was so swollen. And that was before, that picture was taken before he went back in there. Yeah. At that point, he was not putting a lot of pressure on it. Yeah, I can't imagine. But after that, he's been yeah. so much better. Because can you imagine how... Um, what that does to tissue when there's all this extra fluid sitting in that area. How much pain there is. I do, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we all know what it's like to be swollen. So, here I have my hand cupping. Cupping his rib cage. And I'm cupping his spine. Mm -hmm. So, I'm on both sides of the spine with my right hand. And there, my left hand there. So there again, I'm doing circles. Watch how his head gets moved. Rib cage. Do you see? Here again, I'm doing it. So I'm cupping the rib cage and cupping his spine. suggest to give him fish oils. Well, he actually does chew on fish sticks. So I don't know what else is in the fish sticks. Well, actually, it's it's all natural product. It's. Um, is it just the salmon? Dehydrated salmon? No, no. Right these are actually sticks. They are um, actually stingray 
tails. Oh, and they're wow. really good for his teeth. They're good for his digestive system. Hmm, where do you get that? Uh, through canine caviar. Where do we get all the stingray tails? I'm afraid to ask. I know Such a good boy. Yeah, come back here. You come back here. You come back here. Come back here. Continue. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the whole rib cage is there on your other leg. Oh, you see, he's completely here. So it's going to take a while. And it's going to be done through play. So you can see a little bit. I mean, I went right into. See there. Okay, you see how I'm doing this with the hands? This is what you, what is your wife's name? Holly. Holly. Hi, Holly. So let me show you. So what you can do is you take him like this and you can shift him. Do you see? So I'm going mm -hmm. like that. So you take his rib cage and you kind of shift him and go at the pace that he can handle. So he makes, makes sense. right? Because you don't make sure that you're not doing it your pace. Find what his rhythm is. So it goes like that. Yeah. It's okay, son. It's okay. Boy, yeah, you see someone. Yes, you do. Simon. Come back. Come here. You're yeah. not allowed to jump. Uh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Come back here. Come here. Simon. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come We have a lot more we need to do to make it so that it's safe and okay. Oh, I know. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's my friend. Yeah. That's your friend. Come here. See, we can get the room, and then he goes back to the right. <laughs> okay, but we need to make it okay that we're showing him through the rib cage, that, and he'll still go over back over here. Mm -hmm. But at least we're showing him because look what happens when I shift my rib cage over this side. I'm shifting it over that left leg. Then I'm shifting that rib cage over this side, and I'm shifting it over the right side because of the right, the left foot. He stays shifted this way. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get this kind of movement to happen. And I know there's a lot of light behind me, and I'm not sure if you can see that. Actually, it's, it's, yeah, it shows up pretty good. Okay, so even when he's sitting, he's sitting like sure. this. See, and I'm not saying <coughs> today you need to be equally on the left side because he still can't. What I'm saying is I don't want you to get stuck in that memory. So I want to show you what you can do. And even by the end of the, and, and by the, end of the day, today, your left leg might feel a little bit better and you'll remember to shift over onto that leg. So it's not just when he's walking, mm. but it's also when he's sitting. So that way he won't always go sit this way. 
Where's your big boy? Come here. Where's your big boy? Come here. Where's your big boy? Where's your big boy? See? Rib cage way better. I would say 85% more equal on both sides. And we haven't improved the left leg, right? right? So what's happened is the rest of the body is now accommodating. So it doesn't have to over accommodate, right? right? That's it. Oh, there we go. Okay, complete balance. So now I'm going to play with them a little bit. Come here, big boy. Come here, big boy. Come here. So I want to take them out of balance and I want to see how that goes. Let's see. Ah, 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 you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. And I'm going to smell like a dog. Yes, I am. I'm going to smell like a dog. See, because he's a little mouthy, and I'm working around on the mouth. There. And he's so good about it. You are such a good boy about it. Yes, you are. He's used to that part. Yes. See, you need all of this to be worked on. To me, I got to be worked on. So his, he, he's been licking something, right? Because he smells something. He had a little bit of food this morning so he can take his antibiotics, but other than that, mm. he mm. hasn't done anything. And the vet didn't say he's a little yeasty or something? No, no, the vet okay. seems to think he's doing good. So I'm really grabbing the rib cage. When I say grabbing, I'm grabbing it at the weight of about a peach and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But there, I'm getting his rib cage, his spine to bend like that. So much. Even though he's bent there. So you see I'm bringing it together and bringing it together and then bending it in. Ever so gently, the weight of a peach. Peach and a half. Peach and a half. Hmm? Peach and a half. Peach and a half. Yeah. Oh, I know what that smell is. That's your wet tears. Oh, I knew it's a little wet doggy smell. He might be a little tender on that side, too. Absolutely, and I was going to say, anyway... He, well, he was stepped on by a different dog. Stepped on. Okay. This area on all dogs, most dogs, it's the flank. Mm-hmm. Right? So, you, have you ever seen that painting, huge painting? Is it in the Louvre in France somewhere? I don't remember. With the big lion attacking the animal on the back side. So, this back side, the flanks... Back here, there's a lot of genetic um, memory of this is where being attacked happens, right? Because they get the butt under and that's where they get mm -hmm. grabbed. So they get grabbed at the neck, they get grabbed here. So there's a lot of here, and look how he's letting me. See, in yeah. the beginning he was a little bit concerned and he lifted the leg up, right? That's it. Now he knows it's okay. Look. And what am I doing? Circles. I'm doing circles. Oh, you hear the kitty? Do you hear the kitty?
So basically what I want you to do, if I can, if you can bring them again tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday, if you can bring them again tomorrow, I'm going to do more of this. You're going to see him really shifting up his weight on the legs. So again, I'm going like this, ever so gently. It's not with the intention of bending his spine mm -hmm. this way. I'm really holding the rib cage, and I'm really gentle. Look how gentle I am. Yeah, you're such a good boy. 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 You're a very good boy. Mm -hmm. I can say that because you are a very good boy. I want you to really work with the circle touches around here, around the mouth, so he's not so mouthy. I'm under his rib cage, so you know how the rib cage is pointy. Mm -hmm. So I'm under it. I'm under this side. And I'm just giving it a little bit of a lift up. So you can see how it's lifting him. He's certainly comfortable. He is. Good boy, Simon. See there. He is very fortunate that he has two awesome parents and you got him to a really good vet. As quick as possible too. Mm -hmm. And the other biggest blessing is your daughter who was able to figure out quickly mm -hmm. how to get that dog to release its grip. Oh, I am very grateful for that. He is just blessed all the way around. You are blessed all the way around and you should be a bigger waggy than that. You should be a bigger waggy. Yes. Huh? Okay, I think we're done for today. I don't want to do too much. You see, he's really nice and quiet, mm -hmm. right? Um, but <clears throat> I'm going to do more of it, and then I'll show you really specifically tomorrow. Today, I just wanted to explore, and then I went, eh, screw it, I'm not one to explore. I go straight in and start working. It's just what I do. I always say that I'm going to explore, and I'm like, oh, yeah, here. Okay, I need to already start working here. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what that is circle oh, what those circle touches are. So. Okay, so come in really close real quick. Oh yes, click, click, click. Okay, so you see I'm doing I can't, I can't circle. Get you in this, but. No, that's okay. 
So you see, I'm doing circle touches. So in other words, you see the, hand, the finger and I'm moving the skin. Do you see? Mm -hmm. There. Or you can go this way. You decide whether you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise. But you just want to be able to move, so you're not moving your finger on the skin, you're actually moving the skin over the bone or moving the skin over the tissue. Okay? And you're going to do that around him. And then the other thing you can do is use your whole hand to create that. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Like that. So those are the two things you and Holly are going to work on tonight. And I'm going to try to get this up for you. Okay. Okay? So you can go ahead and turn that off. Look good?